Hello guys and welcome to the review of the new uh, cards from the neutral carpool uh, Imperial Army Mechanicum and Chaos um, So let's start with the Imperial Army then we will take a look uh, at uh, the cards that are going away that uh, are actually impactful um, So first of all uh, uh, Prospering Less Rifle 1-2 for two energy, uh, solar auxilia, and rally deal two damage to an enemy troop. I think this card is cute, mm, kind of good, like it's not bad. Dealing two damage with a one two body is helpful, especially like uh, again, for example, for crawl, uh, you can include it in Lord of the Flies. And I think, as, in general, as a uh, um, solar auxilia, it's a pretty nice card. Uh, overall, uh, it's a common, so very easy to find, uh, can fit in a lot of de decks, I think, especially uh, those with uh, Battle Honor Warlords can make uh, use of Prospering Laser Rifle pretty pretty good, I think. Um, so yeah, neat, neat uh, common card, for you can drop it turn 1, even later it's not that big of a deal, so uh, I like this card. Um, Prospering Veletari, uh, fr Solar Auxilia, Frontline, 2-4 uh, for four, 3 energy. Uh, not bad. 2-4 Frontline for 3 energy is a cute stat line, like most uh, um, uh, factions don't have a Frontliner for 3 energy that is actually a 2-4. Maybe it's a 3-3, three, three, which is worse for a Frontline. Uh, so overall, I, I like it, I have to say. Uh, Vox Interlock, 3-3. Uh, three, three. 3 energy, solar auxilia, 1 energy, draw a card, if it's a troop, give it plus 1, plus 1. Uh, I don't think this card will see that much of a play. It's it's kind of slow. And honestly, even if you get to, to do a troop, you are uh, 1 energy behind, because you spent 1 energy in uh, Vox Interlock. So I wouldn't bother with this card. Uh, Avenger Squadron, deal 1 damage to all enemy troops twice. So this is kind of similar to... Um, the Raven Guard um, for energy that also deals damage to Warlords. I think this card is weaker and uh, I wouldn't play it, but uh, like I don't know, for 5 energy you can play Call of Cowardice. Uh, yes, maybe if Shield becomes really relevant you can think about this card, but otherwise I wouldn't bother. There are better uh, 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 more clears than this card. Um, then we have Prospering Captain, uh, 4 energy, 3 4, Solar Auxilia, Rally deal 1 damage. If target dies, give plus 1 plus 1 to your infantry. This card is amazing. I think it will see a lot of play, um, especially in a lot of decks that work with really well with infantry, li like Sisters of Silence, for example. Uh, it's also a proactive 3 drop, uh, 4 drop that they kind of lack feels a feels a similar role to the um uh, the osprey the silver osprey so i think this card will see play in uh, uh, balthazar will see play in uh, uh, sisters of silence will see play in uh, uh, agents of the cg light and overall uh, i think it's uh, a very good four drop really good like if you can craft this card if you're going to play those kind of decks I think it's worth crafting it uh, Prospering Sentinel Solar Auxilia Flank Vehicle 5-3 for, for, for 5 energy um, I mean we're losing Vorax so <laughs> I guess this is kind of a replacement it's not really the same thing uh, it's way weaker um, but overall it's not terrible like it's not good but it's not terrible either so i think um there could be an argument to play this card but i think almost all legions have some flanker that is better than prospering sentinel so uh i don't know like uh, if it would have a, uh, if it had unstoppable maybe but it, it it doesn't even have that so i would skip it for uh, for now uh, Prospering Spire Guard. Your Warlord gains give plus one plus one 
to slowly yeah, you put into play and put in play a plus per inventory which is the two for front line but that becomes a three five so this is one of the tempo loss cards but this actually doesn't lose that much tempo since uh, four of these five cost is in order to play a three a three five front line and three five front lines usually cost uh, uh, four energy um i think this card is great it's really good like especially for uh, like ex especially exclusively for solar auxilia decks but uh, apart like apart from that i think it's just great it's really great a great card i think um all, all uh, apart from the solar auxilia warlord with that of, of of course are going to play this card i think you can make a pretty interesting sol uh, solar auxilia build with um Evostionoi. and if so this card becomes uh, uh, i think essential in this deck because you can't buff it or buff uh, solar auxilia otherwise so i think uh, it's a really great addition uh, i i i would if you like solar auxilia i would craft this card instead if you uh, play any deck just craft uh, Fides Dravian because this card is amazing uh, Solar Auxilia 3-4 6 energy rally for each enemy you put in play at plus one inventory so this card is at its worst a 5-8 on two bodies with, uh, four of which have frontline and in the best case scenario is 5-2-4 uh, 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 frontline and a 3-4 so yeah it's amazing so it's like ornate of barge but you actually know that you're getting like two fourths with front lines or three five if you have the legendary out um i think this card will see play in a lot of decks control decks for sure uh maybe i would argue even aggro because uh, like if the situation gets out of end this can put you back into the game with the amount of stats you're putting on the board for six energy so i would like i'm surely going to craft this and uh, uh as soon as i uh, as soon as it comes to the shop or if i find it i'm even happier but uh, yeah i think this card is uh, really amazing um mechanicum so tacitus proctor uh, give plus zero plus one to vehicles you put into play Two energy draw a vehicle from your deck, it costs one less and 35 HP to attack. Um, medium initiative. Um, I think it comes short to Arkham Land. Uh, if I have to be honest, like Arkham Land, I think is so much stronger. Um, the fact is that with Arkham, you are creating a uh, like faction specific vehicles which often are stronger than the neutral card pool uh, however uh, with tacitus proctor you can include uh, whatever you want in the deck and you are going to draw it for sure uh, in a way or another uh, i don't think it's that bad um lets you play above curve for like two or three turns uh, maybe you can do turn one draw turn two draw uh, turn three you can drop uh, if you drew it the uh, vorax the big vorax um and then you can go like uh, um what's the name the tanatar uh so yeah it's not that bad i don't think it's great by the way but uh, it's not not bad like it's okay uh i wouldn't like i wouldn't bother playing it but like if you have arcan land just play arcan land i think uh carry tech trolls um two energy to two resolution lower the cost of a vehicle in your end by one this card is really strong and i exactly know which deck wants it uh which is uh, um ebos tionoi uh, if you're playing uh, uh, mechanicum or vehicles in general because uh, it like theonoi makes this a 2-3 which is very hard to take out uh, but also you can play it in iron warriors you can play it in iron hands like uh, those legions that play with a lot of vehicles are i think uh, will like this card quite a lot especially those that uh, have uh, very high cost 
Um, this can help playing them a turn earlier, which is not bad at all. Um, yeah, I like this card. As a common, it's great. Uh, Chiari Fallax. Uh, uh, two, three, three energy, rally deal one damage to an enemy, and it's adjacent unit. Less rifle on steroids, uh, really strong card. Like, it's the baby uh, version of the Solar Auxilia Flamer. Um, I think it's good. I think it will see play in some kind of decks, um, especially those that don't have a way to deal with multiple one ones like defenders of Caliban uh, and they m maybe rely also on infantry like the, the first example that comes to my mind is of course uh, uh, agents of the CG light I think I would play a couple of copy of these uh, but it's not bad at all uh, Zao Arkad, your warlord gain relentless, create a mechani random mechanical vehicle in your hand for energy. I think this card is bad, like every generating card uh, in the game. Yes, it creates vehicle that at least are worth something, unlike, unlike uh, uh, cultists. Uh, but it's not bad, like the temple also, I think it's too big. Uh, Chiari Castellax. 5 energy, 4, 6, advantage, 3 energy, deal 3 damage to random enemy enemies, stun it. Uh, the effect is really interesting. The cost of the activated ability, not so much. I guess uh, if you're playing Iron Warriors, this card is kind of interesting because it allows you, like you have cards that let you activate for less energy. And at this point, this becomes interesting. Like if you can lower the cost of your ability like to one maybe with uh, one of the um uh, i don't know what the, i don't remember what's the name of the three energy deal three card that actually um lowers the cost of ability of cards in your hand by one and maybe you have the rhino out i think this card can be pretty interesting um otherwise like again uh, except for being attack against uh, uh, gym bosses i really don't see a room for this card anywhere else like it's i think it's a little bit too slow and you don't want to lose three energy to the activate ability so also like if it dealt like five damage it would be something but if you have a troop uh, like uh, uh it, like you drop it this turn five uh, you uh, activate the ability turn six uh, like a turn six troop will survive the three damage no problem so and you can't attack with the castellax after uh, so I think it's uh, a weird card that will be played only in specific decks uh, that can make it work because otherwise I don't think it's a card that works. Um, then we have uh, Agreus Osmium, Archmagos Prime, 7 energy, 7, 7 rally, lower the cost of all vehicles in your hand and deck by 2. Uh, this card I think is really strong, especially in factions that have high cost vehicles like iron hands iron warriors are the first that comes to my mind um, but also let me see let me see let me see um, uh, like i would even argue that it's good in traitor legions if you're playing heavy heavy vehicle decks um it's good in emperor's children if you're playing heavy vehicle i think uh <coughs> Like, I, I think it's a really solid card. Like, it's not bad at all. Also, 7 energy, 7 7 is okay. Like, not a, that big of a tempo loss. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, Fiori Tanata Canvas. Uh, 8 energy, eight, 7 8 shield, relentless, deal 3 damage to all enemies. Uh, this card is a nightmare. Like, I think it's really strong. The problem is that. Tishayal removes it directly. The second problem is that it's a bit too slow, but if you can give it flank, I think this card is amazing. Like straight up amazing. Because you are taking taking the maximum advantage advantage of the shield. And also it's really hard without troops because maybe you take out the only troop they had on the board to deal to take out a 7-8. And if you get to the Relentless, like me, Relentless is, uh, like, this effect is amazing. 
I think it's really strong. Like it's a card that I, I will try to make it work for sure as soon as I get it. Um, I think it's really a neat card to have. Uh, e even if I have to say it will go only in very specific type of, type of decks <clears throat> because it's really slow. But otherwise, uh, I think it's a good card. Like uh, this is a design I really like. It's uh, it follows the old uh, Tanatar, uh, like the relentless resolution, deal damage. It has shield. Like it's it's a it's a card that I can see myself including. Opposite of that is three hours conveyor. Uh, six ten nine energy six energy draw a troop. I can put it in play. It's completely unplayable. Uh, let's go to Chaos. <coughs> so, Ktonia Narvus. Uh, choose one. <coughs> draw an infantry. Lower the cost of a card in your by one, or your next troop uh, gains drop pod for one energy. This card is amazing. I would craft this card as soon as it comes to the shop. Because this card will see a lot of play, I think. Especially giving drop pod. Might seem like a little thing, but you can actually play uh, play this card the turn before and the turn after you can spend all of your energy and give drop pod uh, to a troop that you really care about surviving. I think it's an amazing uh, uh, way of protecting your own troops because drop pods are often forgotten like the, the most people think they're worthless, uh, worthless, but I don't think so. Drop pods sometimes uh, really screw up uh, uh, the way you are clearing the board and maybe put you in an in awkward situation. Also lowering the cost in, uh, of a card in your hand by one is not bad at all. <clears throat> and drawing an, an infantry is just generally good for uh, infantry based decks like to pain, like uh, uh, Sisters of Silence, the Black Card Draw, like uh, Agents of the CG Light, I think this card is really good. Ktonian Last Rifle. Traitor of Sgilia, Resolution, deal 1 damage to a random enemy troop. Pff, this card is really strong. Really strong. Like this card, I think is in Dupain is uh, the best 3 drop ever, like it's so strong. Uh, Apart from that, uh, yeah, it will see s some play, I think, in Dupain for sure, and I don't think Sisters or um, or um, Agents want this, uh, but otherwise it's just a nice 3 drop for 3 energy, it's just really good. I would craft this if uh, if if I have uh, like when it comes to the shop, I I suggest everyone to craft this because this can go in every deck. Like it, it's just good, normal three drop that actually does something and keeps doing something, which is even more amazing than all the less rifle. Uh, Tony and companion, four energy, three four, traitor auxiliary resolution, draw a troop from your deck. This card will see two of in pain for sure. Like it's just so good for the pain. Um, apart from that, I don't. Maybe sisters because they lack card draw. Apart from that, I don't really think it will see that much of a play. Uh, Ktonian captain, traitor auxilia, rarely give plus one plus zero to your units this, this turn, which includes your warlord. Five four four five energy. This card is amazing. Craft two of these as soon as you can. Uh, this. Uh, is going to be a pain in the butt, I think. Also, in the pain, it's a 6 5 for 5 energy with this rally. I think it's uh, really great. And then we have Tony and Hermes 7 energy, 5 8. Traitor Auxilia, frontline, advantage, deal 5 damage for 2 energy. Do pain? Apart from that, uh, I don't think it will see any play. Um, even if the Stat line is pretty beefy, so maybe you can play it also somewhere else. But apart from that, I mean, it's not really uh, that impactful. The impactful thing is uh, the pain with a 6 9 front lane for 7 energy, <laughs> but I think uh, that's, um, um, that's the problem. But apart from that, I think it's a neat card. I wouldn't craft it if you're going play if you're not going to play to pain. I don't think it's 
uh, worth crafting it. Um, so why I can't see the legacy cards? Um, maybe if I clear. Um, okay, I think this is what we are losing. Um, so we are losing uh, Wonders of Tisca. Um, which is a great uh, uh, gym boss card. Uh, it's a shame, it's the only anti-stun we have left. Uh, so stuns are becoming, I think, more powerful because Wonders of Tiska is going away. So Alpha Legion, um, especially Alpha Legion, will benefit from that. Uh, in neutral, we are losing quite a lot of stuff. So we are losing Secretary Axiarch, which I is one of the my favorite cards of the neutral cult pool. It's just amazing. Uh, we are losing Secretary Peltast, which if you, even if it doesn't see that much of a play, I think it's, it's, it's still underrated and very strong. Uh, we are losing Vorax, so all the decks that rely on vehicles and on the um, mechanical mission are going to suffer from that. Uh, we are losing uh, Forge Fane for who cares, like some people I think play that, but uh, um, yeah, we are losing quite a lot in Mechanicum, like uh, losing Proctor, Axiarx, Secutari, Castellax even is not that bad, and Vorax at the same time is going to be pretty painful, I guess. We are getting some good stuff back, so um, I wouldn't bother that much. And then in neutral, uh, for Imperial Army, you, we are losing uh, Ravage City, which is very uh, neat card, it's really strong. We are losing Orders from Terra, so Full Grim will be very sad. Uh, we are losing uh, Edict of Sensor. Uh, Edict is actually a very painful card to lose, I think, just because it keeps... Uh, um, um, War, like Warlord that rely a lot of tactics, you know, in a lot of tactics like uh, uh, Titans, for example, in check. Uh, without it, I think they could be a little bit more popular just because Edict is gone. That, like, an Edict ruins them so much, so um, I think there is a point uh, now. Um, apart from that, uh, Imperial Army is not losing much. Um, so overall, I think the big winners, of course, apart from neutrals, uh, um, like if we look, take a look uh, at the Warlords, uh, I think Massad and Saul are both getting improved. I would argue that even Kalidus Assassin got improved. Um, and then um, I think out of them, Sotanul is going to like the 2-2 for sure. Uh, Arcan Land, I think, uh, will be kind of the same because it will li really miss the Vorax. Uh, the other are not really played, so I wouldn't bother. And with the Chaos, uh, Balthazar is going to be amazing, I think. Uh, Ibo Steonoi, I, I, I already have a deck and it, it works pretty well. Like, I used it quite a bit last season and I got uh, in top 10, so I I think he's uh, just really good. Uh, just people have to learn how to play him because it's, he's a little bit tricky, but uh, they can be pretty squishy, but uh, um, I think it's really, really nice. And then we have a buff, I think, also to Lotara because now we have something more to play um, for Traitor Auxilia. And yeah, like, or even in, uh, like uh, as the flankers, like, she can benefit from the 8 energy uh, shield guy from uh, Mechanicum because uh, uh, she can give it flank right away. Doesn't have to work for that. And uh, um, like I think Lotara with Mechanicum stuff is actually pretty good. Uh, so these were my, my thoughts. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about the new card if you like it. And uh, uh, see you guys next time.